All right, guys, here's a quick video. I'm going to show you guys how to anchor punch downward, okay? Um, I forgot to add this to the video when I, when I first put it out, and a few people have been asking me to show a demo on how to do it, knock them into the ground, and uh, make them just anchor to the ground. So this is the way you're going to do it, okay? So you have your hands here, and as you come down, Right? You can either do it diagonally or vertically with the fist. But I usually like the diagonal. And so you're going to roll the shoulder downward as you strike. Okay? And so it's just. And as you step, you just downward. Banging on them down. Even if they put their hands up to protect themselves, they bang on their forearms, and pulls them, pulls them down, and knocks them down. And then after it opens them up, either for hooks or, or, or arc type punches. Okay? So basically, it's just rolling the shoulder and just coming down and striking downward. Anchors them to the ground. It's like you're striking them and hammering them down like a nail into the ground. Okay? So. <clears throat> and if you, as you practice this, I'm using this, the maze ball and it uh, works really well with it. So I would advise if you can to use one. If not, have a partner hold a medicine ball that's made of leather, semi soft, so you can strike into it and downward, holding it about head height, okay, and striking it down by rolling the shoulders, all right? So it's just a quick video demoing how to anchor punch into the opponent. All right, guys, here's a short drill I wanted to just go over. Um, it helps you develop that explosive, convulsive grip when you're striking the bag, okay? Some people had commented on wanting to learn how to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do a, a drill to be able to develop that, okay, when you're striking somebody. So you, you, know, you basically roll your, your fist nice and tight. You don't have to be super tight, but just snug, okay? And as you strike the bag, you squeeze it convulsively, okay, when you clench your fist, squeeze it as you're about to make impact on the bag, okay? And so what you're going to do is you're going to line up here and keep your hands you know, wherever you, you like, some people like them here, like them here, okay? And then as you strike, you squeeze, 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 okay? Just taking semi-solid uh, shots. Okay? And it helps you to start concentrating, focusing on squeezing at the last second. Okay? And as you do that, you start learning how to squeeze your fist to give you that little extra power to be able to rock your opponent. Okay? Then once you get comfortable with that, what you're going to do next is do it simultaneously for you know, 30 seconds or you know, 8 to 10, 12 um, repetitions. Okay? So it goes something like this. So you're going to have your hands rolled and... <coughs> So just relax your hands, get your breath, relax, okay, roll, roll your hands, and step from a relaxed stance, then <laughs> and strike the back, okay? So you can do that for anywhere from five to ten rounds, or, you know, sets of, uh, 8 to 10, 20 repetitions. The key thing is to train yourself to squeeze your fist as you strike, hit with the back knuckles, okay, in a diagonal fashion, okay. And you'll learn how to hit it subtly every single time because you've learned how to squeeze 
and convulse that fist as you strike it. Okay? So it'll give you a better, stronger, more powerful punch when you hit your partner or <laughs> not your partner, but your opponent when you're fighting. So try that drill, work it. You can work it twice a week, you know, develop that strength and that force to be able to knock somebody out with either fist.